Yeah, this is the lineup. And we got here about two and a half hours early or something. Yeah. Like, uh, yeah, no. <coughs> to be a snark. His parents were killed by Voldemort who gave him a lightning spark. So yeah, that was all I had for um, the midnight chilling last week because what happened was they came out about maybe 20 minutes after that and said that they would be confiscating any electronics in people's bags so I had to make sure that my camera was put away in the car so that I wouldn't lose it so that kind of sucks but <laughs> you saw part of my costume so yeah your picture hasn't been done yet it's just been busy and then i went to see the movie a second time and yeah the, the midnight showing was absolutely amazing you know, they started letting people in about 10 30 um to like to so then you realize how much how long it, the lineup was we didn't get seated until probably about 11 15 and the 10.30 was when I think the line started moving where we were. Uh, since it was 3D, because we thought that that was going to be the only showing, but they ended up having one, two 3D showings and one regular show. But for the 3D movie, we got <laughs> these glasses. <laughs> they were, I kind of sucked for people who had um, to wear glasses underneath them because they're really uncomfortable to begin with, which is why I went to see the movie a second time. Well. That was one re one of the reasons I went to see the movie a second time. If you're going to see this movie, try to see it in 2D. I know it's kind of hard for a lot of the theaters, but try to see it in 2D. Because 3D is completely unnecessary and you're paying 3 bucks. Before the movie even started on the midnight showing, we had a couple people try to get the whole theater to sing um, the mysterious dick noise, which was fun, but I think because there was no ticking noise to keep everyone in time, it kind of just became one big mess. And another group went up and tried to sing, start singing Get Back to Hogwarts from a very popular musical. And then they got kicked off by a manager, I guess, but he was wearing a suit, so I'm assuming that was a manager. Aluna went up to the front and she announced that there were gargles in the room. Because I just have to rant and also rave about this movie because that's what I do. Neville was just thrown into this movie and... Oh, Snape. Okay, here's the thing I should warn you. I am a huge Snape and Alan Rickman fan. I was... I think Alan Rickman actually might have got me to like the character of Snape more. It was really the only thing that I, I love, truly love about this movie was Snape's Scene. Oh my gosh. The first time I didn't cry as much as I thought I would, uh, but it was still a really well done scene. That was probably the only scene I cried for. Same with the second time, except this time I cried even more. I like it was just like tears coming down my sister and she this is her first time seeing it and she dots me a nap and she's like quiet. Then I think that's the only reason I went to see the movie a second time because that was just amazing and I'm just tearing up every time I think about it. And whenever I watch part of the movies with him and I see this day, I start to tear up. It's just... Yeah, that hug with between Draco and Voldemort, that was awkward. Another thing I found awkward was that whole tentacle thing with Voldemort. And my sister pointed out, why did he just kill Harry then when he had all those things wrapped around him? It's like, I don't know, it just didn't make any sense, and I didn't mind the whole falling like the top of Hogwarts as much as that whole tentacle thing. <laughs> Neville was awesome, and the fact that he basically- oh, and Professor McGonagall, um, other than that one line, uh, is a brilliant- yeah, I, I want to say brilliant because I, I think it's because of these movies that I've- taken on this word brilliant, but they are really brilliant. There are not enough words to describe this movie, and I'll probably be talking about it for the next couple weeks, because that's how amazing it was, um, and how much rage I feel for some of those scenes. 
the epilogue. I didn't hate it as much as I thought I would. Overall, that was a, like a nice ending, and it worked better in the movie than it did in the book, for sure. It's like, it, there are two, there are two thing, main things this year that have ended. There was Smallville and Harry Potter, and Harry Potter is actually the one that I have watched since the beginning, basically. I remember waiting um, for the first, first movie to come out, like, months ahead and anticipating it coming out, and it was, I, it was so funny because I don't think, I don't think I was too angry about the changes in the first movie. They were, I was like, oh, they've changed this, they changed this, and oh, I was not too happy about that. Uh, same with the second movie, um, but the third movie was when I started to rage about it and get more critical about the movies, and then I came full circle with the last couple movies, and just being kind of like, oh, oh they're adaptations, and they're going to be different in the book, and so it's kind of interesting how that, <laughs> that ends up. It's just crazy to think that when I was same age as Harry was when the books first started or when the books when I first started reading the books I was probably about 11 or 12 and now I'm you know 23 that's that's half of my life it just seems like like that was when I was in elementary school that was when I was in grade six and I've graduated and moved on and and yet I'm still attached to these things I, I really think that these movies are going to be the Star Wars of our generation because it just, there's so much, and then the books are way better obviously, but the movies themselves are an accomplishment because I don't think there have been any kind of movies like this where they had kids grow up through the movies, intentionally grow up through the movies, and uh, they do it so well. Like, I mean, there were things that, you know, they could have done better. If you go back to the first couple of movies and even throughout the whole series, there are bad there are bad movies and there are good movies, but every single movie has something good about it. It's, it's Harry Potter. It's Harry Potter.